Hi, we're going to go through creating a Facebook page and adding it to Seismic Desktop as an administrator. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're, on, we're at Seismic Desktop now, and as you all noticed, um, I have uh, pages that I'm both an admin for um, and as well as a fan for. Uh, you can access and control your pages by going into the configuration panel and you can click the plus sign um, and click make sure you're clicked on the Facebook uh, the Facebook uh, symbol and here you'll have administered pages and fan pages and here are all the fan pages that are listed um, that I'm a fa fan for in Facebook uh, for administered pages, you notice I have two pages that I'm an administrator for or I'm an owner for. Uh, and here's what we'll do. We're going to go into Facebook. And what you can do when you're in Facebook is you can go to um, create pages. So it's pages slash create. And you'll see and you noticed um, a uh, a page to create a new Facebook page. What you can also do is also go to manage and see all the pages that you manage and here are the two pages that I manage in Facebook. Um, and there's also a create page button here as well. So I go back to the create new Facebook page and I'm going to um, make up a name for a business. Let's call it Sky Community. Sky Community Game. Click on the I am authorized to create this page and put your electronic signature. Click on create page and you've created a Facebook page here. Now before you actually created this page, um, although it's created, it's not yet been published. Uh, you can tell by clicking on edit page and notice on this side of the settings there is a page has not been published. To make this page public, publish this page. Uh, sometimes you don't want to create it or publish it yet until you have some content filled. Um, so here we'll just go ahead and successfully publish the page. So the page is now active in Facebook um, for other people to see. I'm going to go back and view the page. And here's one thing you'll also notice that if you go back to Seismic Desktop and click on Pages, I'm going to refresh the list. And my Sky Community Gang is appearing. Um, what you'll notice is that there's two that are posted uh, where posts are allowed. Um, for the Sky Community Kang, the posts are not allowed yet because I have not set up permissions to post or to view any of the messages uh, from uh, Seasmith Desktop to Facebook and vice versa. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the checkbox and save. What's going to happen is Seasmic Desktop will connect to Facebook and ask for permissions. From this point, it'll be there'll be a pop-up saying, "Please check all the pages you request uh, post as admin permission for are selected in the drop-down from the Facebook Connect Extended Permissions window." So what it's going there's two thing there's two windows that'll come up. Number one, there'll be a window for you to log in, and then another window for you to actually post or request permissions for. So this is the Facebook Connect authorization. This is not part of Seismic Desktop, this is actually part of Facebook. So I'm going to enter my password for Facebook. So once that happens, then there'll be a Facebook Connect extended permissions. You notice that it'll allow Seismic to publish posts or comments prompting me. And what you'll notice is that there's a setting for Sky Community, uh, community Gang. 
Um, you'll also notice that if you click on it, there's a little check mark there. Um, I would allow, make sure that that checkbox is there. And then the next thing you do is you allow publishing. So it says, post as admin per permissions was not yet granted by Facebook for my Facebook page. Uh, please check again later from the refresh list button um, or try again later by removing the page and saving and adding them again. So somehow it's, um, we noticed that the, um, the actual page has, may not have been connected yet. This is the Sky Community Gang admin. Uh, and this was added right after I refreshed the list and created the uh, permissions for it. If I click on it, you'll notice that the um, the column will appear. So what we're going to do now is go into the actual page and we'll find a um, some kind of link uh, at this point click on the link and add the link there. When I attach the link it should come up and I'll be able to share it. When I do you'll notice that actually that was very quick it showed up um, so the connection between the Facebook page is working now it's a matter of being able to uh, post a message If you're able to post the message, um, you can click on, make sure you select the right admin. And I'll just go ahead, uh, just for testing purposes, send this link. You'll notice that you may get a posting message fail. So what we'll ask you to do then is to deselect it click save and you notice it, it won't appear again and it asks you to save again you may have to refresh the list when you click save the permissions should come up again please check that all pages uh, you request are selected you um, and we get the connected Extended permissions again uh, will allow publishing. And then click on the Sky Community Gang. And actually make sure that I'm able to post. And I am able to post successfully. Um, what I'll do is I'll go back to the pages again and although it says post not allowed uh, I'll refresh the list and you'll notice that posts are allowed so I have connections so you'll need to play around with this a little bit if you're going to create a new page uh, outside of that uh, you are able to go in and comment on it. Good job. And if I look and refresh, I'll notice that the last post, or at least the last post that I did through Seismic Desktop, and it shows here via Seismic, shows up, as well as the Sky Community King comment, great job. So um, that's how you add a, fa a Facebook page and connect it with Seismic Desktop. Have a great time and good luck with, uh, good luck with managing your Facebook page through Seismic Desktop. Thanks.